Praise the Lord, O my soul. Psalm 103, verse 2 and 4. And forget not all his benefits. This is a command to not forget. Forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all, say all, all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. It's not just the Lord's will to heal you. It's to crown you with love and compassion. Psalm 107, verse 19 through 21. Don't turn there. Just close your eyes and listen. And then they cried to the Lord in their trouble. Oh, what a precious Jesus. That's all you need to do sometimes. And he saved them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them. And he rescued them from the grave. And let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. He heals the brokenhearted. Psalm 147. And binds up their wounds. If you've come in tonight with a broken heart thinking it's absolutely incurable sometimes a broken heart seems more difficult than a broken leg in the mighty name of Jesus Christ may the balm of Gilead cover your broken heart right now may forgiveness be yours in Jesus mighty name do not be wise in your own eyes fear the Lord and depart from evil 
It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Proverbs 3, 7 and 8. My son, listen there, just receive the word of God. Give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Lord, that's what we're doing tonight. Giving attention to your words. Oh, I sense his touch already. We incline our ear to your sayings. We've been listening to your word all night. Now we sense your presence. You are the word. You are the word. And do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Oh, I give you praise. Surely he took our infirmities. Listen, 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 friends. And carried our sorrows. Surely he did it. He took our infirmity, our sicknesses, carried our sorrow, our pain, our emotional pain, our broken hearts. Yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquity. He was bruised inside for our inner sin, iniquity. And the punishment that brought us peace was upon him. You can leave with peace tonight, not as the world gives it. Jesus said, my peace I give unto you. Receive the peace of God here tonight. You watching in your homes. May the peace of the Holy Spirit flood that house. Those of you fearful right now because of sickness, receive the peace of God. You are in but not of. You are children of heaven. You are pilgrims passing. We are those who sleep. Death is not our portion. He was pierced for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquity. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Oh, I love this. Just sit and listen. The Holy Spirit speaking through Jeremiah. Oh, I feel the Lord. Jeremiah 8.22 Is there no balm in Gilead? The word Gilead means worship. Is there no balm? A balm is for healing. Do you hear what the Holy Spirit is saying in a place like this where there's worship? Is there no healing in worship, friends? And then the Holy Spirit through Jeremiah says, is there no physician there? In other words, don't you know that Jesus lives among a people who praise and worship? And have you forgotten that he's the physician, the great physician? But you take these elements in a very prayerful state. Just take them in a very prayerful state. Just, just hold them here. Take the bread out. Anything but Jesus now. There's power, power. Softly, wonder. We'll just play it. Wonder working power.
Heal me, O Lord, Jeremiah 17, 14. And I will be healed. Why don't you say that now if you need a healing? Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. If you need a miracle, just say that. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. For you're the one I praise. Behold, I will bring health and healing. I will heal them, Jeremiah 33, and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. Ezekiel 47, verse 8, he said to me, this water flows toward the eastern region. It goes down into the valley. Are you in the valley tonight? valley tonight I know of a river that flows into the deepest valley and enters the sea and when it reaches the sea that dead sea its waters are healed I know of a water and a river that brings the dead to brings the hopeless hope that brings the depressed freedom that brings the oppressed liberation for my yoke is easy and my burden is light wonderful Holy Spirit even before we receive your precious precious meal the body and blood of Jesus you begin to flow now and let the sense of your presence Lord the sense of your glory touch your people now like a glorious river that reaches the dead sea of our life and heals us and it shall be that every living thing that moves, wherever the rivers go, will live. Oh, hallelujah. And there will be a very great multitude of fish because these waters go there, for they will be you, and everything will live wherever the river goes. But to you who fear my name, Malachi 4, Son of righteousness shall arise. Just close your eyes and listen. That's all you have to do is listen and receive. The Son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. And you shall go out and grow fat like stall fed calves, speaking of the presence of the Spirit. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing, healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Take this bread, would you? Just hold it. Lord, tonight we're seated in your presence. Seated right here. We hear your words, Holy Lord, eagerly, eagerly, I have desired to celebrate this Passover with you. You are eager to dine with us, where you are both the host and the meal. You are the message and the meal. You are received never entirely consumed for you are all in all and you come to us tonight in this holy sacrament of communion as bread and wine is there any food on earth the 
that's more universal than bread, anything more available. And you've made yourself available. This is your heart. And your holy body, as you told the Jews, I am the bread that comes down from heaven. You are the heavenly manna. And that precious body of yours was ripped and torn and shredded to pieces that ours would be made whole. And so before we receive tonight, we ask you to forgive our sins. I'm telling you guys, I sense the Lord so strongly. Forgive our sin, Holy King. They are many. They are many. We certainly don't sit here tonight in our own righteousness, no. We are blood-bought by the grace of God. And we ask you to cleanse us tonight and forgive us. And we release those who hurt us. Forgive our sin as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Release us tonight as we release others. And I call on the power of the stripes of Jesus tonight. And even now, the power of the Holy Spirit would come upon everyone here who is sick tormented in the mind and I lift the bread and we lift the bread the bread of the covenant because you were lifted high on the tree oh guys forget about everything now because you were lifted high on the tree shame and we break the bread together because your body was torn and you said if I be lifted up I will draw all men unto myself and you were lifted on the cross You said, for as often as we receive this meal, we declare the Lord's death until he comes. And so, Lord, I take the authority you've given me in this house, and I declare that Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, suffered and died and that he who knew no sin became sin that he took our you took and carried our sin you have overcome holy king now I pray that as I receive your precious body power of the Holy Ghost would flow through everything broken in this room and under the sound of my voice. And that you, wonderful Holy Spirit, the breath of God, you're the one who destroys the enemies of the Lord. And drives sickness out, spirit, soul, and body. Drive it out. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's receive
John, would you just lead us in a chorus? Just one. There's power, power, wonder-working power. There is power. Sing it softly, church. shedding of blood there is no remission no removal of sin your word says your word says it's the blood that makes an atonement for the soul oh the blood of Jesus the most powerful substance the earth has ever seen blood of the Lamb Thank you, Lord, for shedding your blood. Whatever you do, don't look around right now. Look at him. As we meditate on the scriptures. Thank you for shedding your blood from your brow. As they beat that crown into your holy head and face. And you traded heaven's crown for the crown of the curse thank you for taking that beating upon your face and you were marred beyond recognition that we would be recognized before the Father thank you for being stripped that we would be clothed in your righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for giving your face like flint when your beard was plucked out. Thank you for not defending yourself that we would be defended by you as a sheep led to the slaughter before its shearers you were silent thank you Lord for your back being given at that whipping post if you didn't want to heal us why would you waste your time there it's by your stripes we're healed and they didn't need to tie you have held on just for us. Oh, holy Jesus. Thank you for receiving the spittle of an entire garrison of soldiers. And your blood and that spittle met on your holy face. And the worst men could offer collided with the best God could offer, the blood of Jesus. And the blood has overcome. The blood has overcome our worst. Thank you for the nails that went through your hands. 
those precious hands that still are stretched forth tonight to touch our infirmity, to touch our weakness, our pain, inside and out. Thank you for the nails that went through your feet. That we would walk and live a holy life. Thank you, Jesus, for the wound in your side that leads us to your heart. And from your heart, healing flows. Thank you for your holy blood. And so tonight we lift the cup, the cup of the new covenant in your blood that is shed for us for the remission of our sin and our great deliverance. Joel, make sure you're playing. John, you receive. Receive it, John. Receive communion. Make sure you are. I don't know if you are. I'm not going to look. But make sure you are. Wonderful King. Thank you for the blood. I lift this in honor of your holy blood. Offered and given else has done such a thing. So now, Holy Spirit, I know you hear me. I know you're leading me. Honor the blood tonight as you promised. I plead the blood in Jesus' mighty name. to sing there's power power wonder working power and then nobody should go here nobody comes here camera guys nobody nobody here sing at church there's power power wonder working power thank you father wonder working power in the blood
If you're sick in your mind or your body, I want you to lift your hand just quickly. Everyone stay in a prayerful place. Lift your hand. I want you to look around. See if there's anyone near you with their hand raised. If there is, I want you to put your hand on their shoulder. Don't, don't become active. Don't start talking. Just stay right here. Stay right here. Now I want you to very quickly, listen, very quickly, ask them what's wrong. I don't want a conversation or a testimony about it. Just say, this is what's wrong with Tell them what's wrong with you. Very quickly. Very quickly. Okay, now stop. That's long enough. Close your eyes now, everyone. Just put your hand there on their shoulder. Jesus said, you will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. There's nothing magical about this. This is the word of God. When I start praying, we're going to all come into agreement and you're going to name that thing and rebuke it in the name of Jesus. It's that simple. You need to command that thing to go and for all the symptoms to go. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every sickness, every disease, every injury, all trauma, all pain, every symptom, all of it goes now in Jesus' name. The Lord rebuke you. Leave now in the name of Jesus. All disease goes. Heart disease, be whole. Cancer, be gone. Be gone in Jesus' name. Dizziness, be gone in the name of Jesus. We have constant dizzy spells. Be healed in Jesus' name. Pain in the joints, arthritis, go now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, keep praying, church, keep praying. Tell it to go. Praise hernia, be whole in Jesus' name. I worship you, Lord. Give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. It's all yours. It's all yours. You're wonderful. You're holy and kind. Rheumatism, be gone in Jesus' name. The glaucoma, be gone. Don't wait on me to call it out. Just receive. You just receive like a little child. You don't have to work. You just receive by faith. Receive by faith. Behold, every sickness under the sound of my voice, those watching from around the world, be free tonight from pain and sickness, and emotional pain and trauma. And as the Lord begins to heal you, for those of you watching, I want you to start putting it on the chat right now. Type out what the Lord is doing. Father, in Jesus' name, by the stripes of the Lord Jesus Christ, your people are healed. From head to toe, from front to back. I thank you for it in Jesus' name. All pain be gone now. Now if you receive prayer, I want you to begin doing something you couldn't do. If you need to stand, if you need to move around, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Don't look for your sickness. Look for Jesus, the healer. Keep your eyes on him. If it's a back pain, get up and move, move, move. It's your legs, your knees, move, move, move. If it's an injury, test it out. If it's your vision, test it out. Do what you need to do. Hearing, behold, right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, behold. If somebody had an issue swallowing tonight. There's somebody who's had an issue swallowing. And you're feeling that thing clear and open right now in Jesus' name. May the life of the Holy Spirit flow through your body right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. 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 Now if you feel like the Lord, if you feel a difference in your body, if you feel the power of God on you, you feel like 
heat on you. Sometimes his power feels like electricity or tingling, or sometimes the pain just leaves like the woman with the issue of blood. She knew that the fountain had dried up. She wasn't really able to check, but she could feel the difference in her body. If that's you, I just want you to lift your hand right now and wave. Put both hands up and wave. Put both hands. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father.